Hey guys, this is Ricky Rod with Baumhouse Recording. Man, have I got a cool video for you today. What are we looking at right now? We're looking at Reason. I've been a long time Reason user since, uh, actually since Propellerhead started shipping uh, the free version with Pro Tools many, many years ago. So with that being said, it was always complicated figuring out how to route Reason into Pro Tools. Um, I mean, you can go on YouTube right now and just type in Reason and Pro Tools and you'll see a bunch of videos dating back seven, six, ten years ago showing you how to route it in. Uh, but you know what? Times have changed since then. I mean, I'm on, uh, let's see what version of Pro Tools I'm in right now. Look, I'm in 12.8.1, right? And um, we're in other versions. I think I'm in 12 point, uh, let's look up uh, Reason here. I'm in uh, 9.5.2. D21. Okay, so we're in different builds these days. It's 2017, and there is a workflow that is much better that will save you a ton of time. So if you've been using uh, Reason Rewire and have been running it the traditional way, uh, when I mean traditional, uh, you basically program everything in Reason, and then uh, you set up a bus output, um, and you do everything in quote-unquote real time. In other words, if the pad lasts for five minutes, you need to bounce it for five minutes. Well, this workflow is going to save you a ton of time, and man, it's fantastic. I found it today. Um, I could not believe this worked. I just tried it on a whim. I've tried this with Melodyne, and it worked. So what we're doing now, here's where the workflow starts. Okay, so what you're going to do is start and create an instrument track. That's what Reason 1 is right here. Okay, so just go to New, go to Stereo, and create your instrument track. Okay, also, also helpful to come over here and click on Instrument. Okay, so you can see your MIDI stuff. Cool, that's pretty important. Okay, so you've set up an instrument track. There's no special routing you need to do. You're going to come over here to the Insert. You can go to Multi-Channel. You're going to go to Instrument and set up Reason right here. You're going to make sure your mix outputs are left and right, okay? And you're going to go into your MIDI input right here under the instrument column. Um, go to predefined. I'm using my impact all channels right here. That's what I'm doing. And then this is where it gets really cool. So I've already programmed something. Let's listen to what we've got here. Um, Cool. So we're just doing a basic pad. I just literally pulled up the first pad I heard there. Okay, so what I'm doing is recording my MIDI into Pro Tools. That's how I did this. Okay, I actually recorded those chords and then um, we're using uh, MIDI, right? We're setting up the MIDI output to the analog pad. That's how we're hearing our track, okay? So traditionally, again, I've explained this, you would come over here, set up a bus output, create another track, and bounce it in real time, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? You don't have to do that anymore. Okay, let me show you. I'm going to rename this track Pad 1. Okay? Cool. Pad 1. And I'm going to come over here to the Reason plugin, right-click, and hit Commit up to this insert. Okay? Just make sure you set this to Do Nothing. Okay? This is what it looks like. I'll explain why later. So hit OK. There we go. So once we committed, let's check this out just to make sure. There we go. So the commit up to this plugin feature works with the Reason Rewire plugin. I did not know that till today. So again, uh, that is a huge time saver, especially when you're programming multiple, multiple tracks. So let me explain this to you again. Okay, you're going to create an instrument track. All right, you're going to come over here, set up Reason as a rewire. Make sure your instrument column is popped up here. Uh, you set up whatever your MIDI instrument is. In this case, it's just, I'm just using, I'm just hitting my MIDI instrument here, my keyboard. All right, and then you set up your output. In this case, it's the 80s analog pad is the name of the patch. So just make sure it's not the mix channel. Make sure 
it's called the pad okay because basically this just gives you your out it lets you set all your MIDI outputs here in reason okay and the reason I'm doing this is because I like I prefer to use the the MIDI features in Pro Tools to control all my virtual instruments okay so that case we're gonna come over here and we're gonna pull up um, I don't know let's just pull up another um, another pad okay called soft pad okay let's listen to it real fast all right so that's the soft pad okay that's a new sound I like it actually I really don't but for this example it works so I renamed the track soft pad cool right click on the plugin hit commit up to this insert Boom, we have the track. Let's listen to the committed track. There you go. So that is the workflow I found today. And man, it is great. Um, found it incredibly useful. It was very quick workflow. Um, but again, I just wanted to, to show this uh, to you guys. I know this saved me a lot of time today and will save you a ton of time in the future. If you have any questions, please uh, hit me up in the comment. Hit a like, please. Uh, hope you guys have a great weekend, and God bless.